Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel for another video. So today we are building another house, and this one's a little bit different because this is a much more simple house than what I usually go for. It's um, actually like a Sims 1 conversion because I just wanted to sort of do like a special kind of video um, and say thank you so much for 100 plus subscribers. I mean, that is just an absolutely massive achievement, and I'm really grateful for everyone that watches my channel, so thank you guys so much. And it's also a special video because it is Valentine's weekend and The Sims 16th anniversary was a few weeks ago or a few days ago. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a multiple few things. Valentine's because Sims is my one true love. <laughs> and obviously the 16th anniversary, I was like crazy, it's been around for 16 years, I have been playing for 15. So it's, um, yeah, it's definitely been a huge part of my life, so I'm super grateful for the game and I'm really glad that I, you know, do this and share with everyone. So yeah, um, I made a Sims 1 conversion kind of thing. I basically was listening to some Sims 1 soundtrack, um, just because it's like the best music there is, as far as I'm concerned. And there was a picture, um, on the music video, or not music video, but like, it was on YouTube and the back of the thumbnail for it was a Sims 1 house. And I just sort of got all nostalgic and was like, I really want to build a Sims 1 house. So I kind of brought it into The Sims 4. So kind of like oldest to newest, kind of merging both styles. So I kind of stick with a lot of rules from The Sims 1, but I kind of break a few as well. So as you can see, this big table here, like I don't know if you guys played The Sims 1, but they used to have these massive tables that took up like six squares. It was ridiculous. So I kind of put two tables together to make that kind of feel. I didn't do any over the top cabinets or like high up counters or whatever they're called um, because we didn't have any of those in The Sims 1 and I tried, yeah, it's just sort of like we've got a tragic clown painting over there as well because obviously that was brought in in the update for the 16th anniversary that was in The Sims 1 I just had a lot of fun making this build it definitely isn't anything fancy because it is so basic but I had so much fun making it I would definitely recommend sort of trying to do something like this where you kind of bring either like a real life house or like a house from a different game into The Sims 4. It's just super fun to play around with to be honest. So um, as you can see the structure of the house is already done and we're already into furnishing because the structure of this house is an L shape. It is so simple it's unbelievable. There's no dormers or fancy roofing or anything. Um, the picture that I base this house off of you will see at the end as a comparison shot. You might have seen a sneak preview of it in the thumbnail, but it's quite small, so you might not have been able to see it. And you can sort of see how I did. I mean, it's quite easy to copy Sims 1 houses, um, to be honest, because they're so simple. So I just had so much fun making this. It was just a good time. And um, I have put some Sims 1 music in at the end, so hopefully I don't get copyrighted for that. I don't know if it is like copyright free or not. I have no idea, but I have included it at the end with the screenshot so fingers crossed I don't get copyrighted um if not I have to take it out and change it I guess so um if there is Sims 1 music at the end you know it's all good and if I'm saying this and then there's not me Sims 1 music at the end you know I got copyrighted so I guess we'll see um I had double stoves just because I wanted them to be on centre and they kind of had those hobs on top because you used to be able to get those in the Sims 1 where it'd be like a separate thing so <laughs> yeah I thought that was kind of neat um going through and doing wallpaper and flooring and everything here, I struggled so hard with this kitchen trying to figure out what wallpaper I wanted to do. And then I wanted to like separate it off with columns so that the, you know, it wouldn't just change wallpaper straight away, but I thought that's not very Sims 1 like, it would just change because we weren't as fancy back in the day and we didn't care. <laughs> but um, so I did get rid of the columns and change the wallpaper as well because I wasn't loving this one. Um, oh no, I think we leave that this one actually. And um, I use like double wooden front doors there, which I, those are kind of doors that I would never use as a front door. And um, but that's what was in the screenshot, so I just went for it. So yeah, and the sort of back garden is in the front. There's like a hot tub out the front, like right on your pathway to the entrance of the house. It's all very strange, but that is how like Sims One houses used to be. So it was just fun to be honest, I just had a good time making this house, so um, if you want to download it you can, it is on the gallery, uh, it's called 12 Sim Lane because that's what all the houses in The Sims 1 used to be called, something Sim Lane, so it's called 12 Sim Lane, so you can search for it via its name, my origin ID is Endless Sims, you can use the hashtags 12 Sim Lane, Endless Sims, uh, Endless, I throw a bunch of hashtags in um, every time so that you can find it nice and easy, the link will be in the description below if you want to do it, so yeah. 
So thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. It means so much to me. Um, you know, more stuff to come. I absolutely love doing these videos. They're just super fun to make. Hopefully you guys enjoy them too. And um, yeah, so 16 years of The Sims. Nearly a year on my channel, I think. I've been uploading for a little while now. Maybe not quite a year, like constantly, but I've had the channel for a long time. But yeah, so um, thank you very much. Please like this video if you enjoyed this fun build. Like I said, try it out. It's super fun just to sort of do some Sims 1 kind of builds. It makes me want to play The Sims 1 so bad. But when you do play The Sims 1, you remember how difficult it is to keep The Sims needs high. Damn, that game was hard. Nothing like The Sims 4. It's so easy. You can leave Sims for days without doing anything with them and they're fine. Not in The Sims 1. If you leave them for like a minute, they like die. It's really difficult. I was playing some the other day. So, um, anyway, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Not quite like this, probably a bit more detailed in the next house build for sure. But yeah, um, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.